hello everyone today i am going to summarize executor service so executor service what are the key points we need to remember so in executor service uh, we can create um, so many uh, executors i mean different types of executors one is a new single thread executor that uh, already i discussed in my previous video and a fixed thread pool that's the one uh, we need to discuss about that and a new scheduled third pool probably in future sometimes i will go through that uh, and the methods we already discussed submit so we need to discuss about execute and invoke any and invoke all so submit and execute almost same let's see if there is any difference between submit against execute in executor service but uh, initially we will go to this two invoke any and invoke all and uh, we will see how it, it will work so i'm going to execute a service here and here what i am going to do is i need to create a list of callable okay then it's an our release and uh, yeah you can do like this i guess or is us less Okay, there is some yeah something I need to do right now. Uh, okay, let's see how we are doing that. So So after creating uh, our list of callables, we are passing that list into invoke any, and we need to make sure, uh, sure it will uh, calling at least one thread. So if we are calling invoke call, it will call all the threads. So that's the only difference between uh, executor and uh, invoke call. So let's see how it will work. So I am going you know, right now. I create a list, and I need to create a uh, yeah callables. So I can use lambda expression here. It will retain some data. So uh, RSS list, and um, I have this one, two, and three. okay so what i need is i need to mention the return type so here i am returning integer that's why it works so yeah right now we are ready to go we have a list of callables that's returning uh returning a, an integer so everything is good right now and what i need is here what is going to happen so i have a list of future objects list of future integers futures then i am calling my executor executor i already defined here yeah executor service then i'm going to call 
invoke all so basically initially we are going to invoke all and to invoke all what we will do is we are passing that list of threads here list of callables here so they are saying like there is an exception here so i'm just moving that code to here okay here we are okay right now and uh, if i call the invoke all it will all give the result into a list so a list of future integers so uh, what i need is i need to get get the sum so in sum i'm going to stream through the list first then map that one I will use telling and expression here and uh, I am trying to return something from this future so future get will return something so f dot get then I, I should have a terminal operator map to int and I will pass integer in value here so not that much I need to find the sum so right now we are ready but it's saying unhandled exception so what exception it is yeah we have three types of exception i guess i need to handle inside itself so i'm just creating a try cache here exception here Yeah, I'm just putting this one into the tribal blow So it's a non chatting method cannot access from Shati Okay, we have some problems here integer in value map to int everything is fine everything looks good but we have some problems probably yeah so that's related to the exception that i'm not defined i need to draw from that particular catch blow as a new exception so i did that right now right now we are ready to go we got the sum here after calling all the executor service and here what i am going to do is i will print that sum to the console so we can make sure it invokes everything so okay we are almost done right now so what we did here is we create a callable list and we are passing that callable list using the invoke call that's it then we are we got the result as a list and from that list we passing all the integers and getting some and we are printing that sum into the console so here i don't need this one anymore so i am just making 
a command on that place I know we are okay so I know it's running so let's see what is going to happen right now so some 15 2 3 4 5 so if and one is there so it's 15 so it's cool and everything so another thing invoke any right so invoke any what will be the result that we need to find so if we here I, get, I will get only one future object in invoke any so in this video itself I will add that one because it's a small part and we don't need future with any okay so here I guess we will get only one yeah okay okay let's see whether it, it will work or not so I'm just printing that into the console Okay, any one So it's not changing so basically I guess I have some problem with that Good. Let's see is any problem with that So invoke any Invoke all is there in any So I have a new callable list of string and resulting a string Okay, so that's the only difference. I got the one here, so it will invoke anyone from that list. So in this case, it's invoking only the initial callable list. So that's it for today. So we, today we discuss about invoke call and invoke any. Nothing. Uh, the name like invoke any, it will invoke only one method and invoke all will invoke all the methods so we j basically just pass the callables to the invoke any of executor service invoke all of executor service and uh, we found the sum of that particular integer that's all about invoke and invoke any then what what is the remaining things on this one because i don't need to spend too much time on executor service i will go to some other topic on next videos probably on concurrent uh, concurrent api itself so we already we are not discussing about execute i guess so let's see there is executor service difference between execute and uh, submit
so yeah the execute method is simple and it will not return anything submit method will return anything that's the thing i guess let's see yeah it's a void execute we know that execute method will not return but we will not sure what it will return so uh, usual cases uh, submit is better compared to the execute so that's the only difference between execute and submit the other things are same so uh, today we finish executor service tomorrow probably i will go to scheduled executor service and uh, future we already discussed about that and uh, the most uh, important thing is cyclic barrier and uh, blocking queue is the most important one cyclic barrier is not that much important then we will go to logs also uh, threat factory yeah probably that one also we need to discuss that's it for today